so it is about, uh, I would say, like a week and two days before con, and I am planning out my Sakura from Fire Emblem Fates cosplay. Um, here's like the basic under outfit. I'm gonna have like the fold over top and then the skirt. Uh, and this is just to show that uh, <laughs> the sleeves aren't actually connected because of one of our art things, you can tell that uh, there's like a skin gap there. So that's actually easier because then I have to attach sleeves. Um, here is a part that goes over right here and underneath the corset. And that's just gonna be like a loose piece that I'll probably like Velcro down or something to keep in place. Um, here's that terrible corset thing. Uh, this is a bow thing that goes over, like, about here. Um, this is the waist. Uh, here's the golden part with tassels. And here is a weird skirt body that has these things. That I'm probably gonna make out of craft foam and cover them with fabric. Same with the corset. I don't know about this part. Uh, it's super bubbly, so, like, it needs volume. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna do any of this. Don't mind. Here's a, uh, the back, kind of. There's no really good reference for it. It's okay, but it's probably gonna be covered by the cape, like to, to here. Here's the cape over here. Uh, here's the design on there. That I'm gonna make those out of craft foam. This is just gonna be craft foam and fabric. Here's a sock design. Here's where the hem falls on that. Uh, there's the shoes. They're just kind of like Naruto-looking shoes, kind of. Uh, I'm probably just gonna. It'll be. It'll be easy. Here's the headband and the designs on the headband, and here's how the, the bottom of the sleeves will look. It'll be tight across here and here, and it'll have a thing around my finger. Okay, so I finally stopped planning and started doing, and here is my uh, kimono thus far. Uh, this is the back, this is going to be sewed up right here. Here's the neck hole, and here's the part that goes over. You'll see. <laughs> This is gonna be shorter, I just cut it really long just to, I don't know, fun these? Yeah. Attached uh, the fake inside collar. Um, it's just attached like this, and then it's loose here. I'm gonna have to, because I have to pin it under this, but over, I'm gonna pin it over this, but under this. Yeah. Like that. This is hard to do with one hand. I've cut these out. They're not great. But uh, I have this wire going through so I can attach it with this on the other side. And I get ready to attach them. Otherwise, I would get to it like, wait, how do I attach it? So the stars are going to go like on top. That's the wrong side. Whoa. Like that. Yeah. Woo. Ta-da! Here is my cape. Uh, this is kind of wrinkly right now. I'll fix it. But yeah, so this is the red inside. Um, here's the collar. See, like, uh... So, <laughs> it doesn't have to actually connect, but you get the idea. Don't look at, this isn't gonna show, don't worry. Don't look at either sides. But yeah. So, da da <laughs> I made both sides first and attached them all together before I sewed a, a line all around the edges connecting to each other and I sewed over that with the gold trim which is a little showy but uh it was hard to interpret <laughs> besides making my cape uh has been constructing my hair and ornaments and uh these other things that go on different parts they're made out of craft foam um which I cut and then layered and then kind of shaved off for this part and right now I'm sealing them with glue <laughs> because if I directly spray paint the craft phone, it would just absorb and look really bad. So I gotta kind of like make it all tough first. Yeah. I just finished my skirt. Uh, the tops. Don't don't worry about the top. It's not gonna show. <laughs> Wait, shit. Will it show? No, it's not gonna show. <laughs> Take me a second. Yeah, um, so, I, well, I started with the pattern, but then the pattern fell apart, so I just kind of, like, had to do stuff. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with, like, a petticoat or something to give it, like, that proof that she has. Because right now it just hangs super limply on me, and it's super sad. It's the day before day zero, and my cosplay isn't done. <laughs> And I work today. Uh... <laughs> wow.
why has this fate befallen me? So it is night before day zero and I am, you know, stuff's happening. There's baby. Um, so currently I'm doing the weird armor strips she has on her skirt. Uh, I cut up craft foam. Um, some of it wasn't long enough for the long pieces, so I sewed together two pieces of craft foam. Which is fun to do this with. But anyways, and now um, I'm covering them with the fabric. I'm being, you know, Emily about it, and I'm using hot glue for the initial hold. And then I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna fold that down. And then I'm gonna top stitch along here to give it a more textured look and also just to make sure it holds. Yeah, and so I'm doing working on six of those right now. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm on like my 20th episode of Friends. Um, so I actually finished the script a bit ago, but I realized I didn't show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I connected these with a cross stitch. Um, that's by the other side, don't worry about it. But this skirt... <laughs> it's hard to show you. Okay, yeah. So, the skirt connects here. And then this goes... Like... This. Yeah. Also working on my headband. Oh, and I can show you... No. Oh no! Okay, we're okay. Whew, scary. It's stuck for half a second. Uh, here's how these are doing. Please, oh, you're stuck. Oh no, you're stuck too. Please. Oh. No, we're good. Okay. So yeah. This one looks better. That's where I am right now. It's, uh, 11. I'm gonna be in Seattle in 12 hours. Woo! Now I'm working on my sleeve, and basically how you do these is you wrap around your arm, and then you pin it so it's tight, and then you take your arm out of it, and then you sew it. Uh, I'll show you the other seam in a half second. I can't bend my arm like this. It'll poke me. Okay, so here's the other sleeve, which goes all the way up, kind of almost. And I made that the same way I showed making the first one. This one is finished, though, but the fit's done, mostly. It's kind of loose here. Don't mind it. So, friends is still on. It's 1 a.m. I have one sock on. It's not turning it out, which so that looks super freaky, but don't worry about that. We're gonna make it through. The bit past soccer con now, but there's a few pieces of the costume I really talked about. Um, this is Sakura's uh, little, I don't know, it's like the bomb of her corset, but it goes under some things, the corset goes under, over. Um, it's made out of just craft foam that Brett helped me cover with Yai Han's new like stretch gold fabric. So it's cool and the guys' little tassels. And those are literally just safety pinned on for the time being. I'll fix it for AX, don't worry. Here's the corset I made for Sakura. Um, it's it kind of has like a weird shape to it. It has this dip. Um, I think I'm gonna remake it. A little bit shorter, so I'll probably take out like an inch or so here. Um, here's the inside. It's kind of crinkly, but it's okay because it, like, if I iron it lightly, it'll smooth itself out. This is made from uh, pieces of craft foam that kind of pattern to adhere to my hip. And then I sewed that craft foam together along the line, which I didn't even realize that I could do that. And then Brett helped me attach um, the fabric to this as well, which is glued on, but anyone ever works. Uh, when I shorten it, I'm also going to add a seam line that she has along here that I'm just going to sew on to give it that detail, but because I had to end up making it shorter, I didn't do it at the time. And uh, I hand sewed on clasps classes for attaching it. I might sew on some more. <laughs> well, here are the um, hand ornaments completely finished. Yay! I need to get, I ran out of cord. I'm gonna replace this with cord. I did not plan this well. Uh, I ended up having to construct a petticoat piece of this cosplay because my skirt wasn't floofing out naturally 
I, well at all. I thought I had a petticoat, but when I put it on, it was way too floofy. It looked ridiculous. So I had to make like a middle ground. Um, Joanne's had a three, three yards or four dollars on tool sale. So basically, I bought uh, three yards of tool. I cut it in half. Horse. Uh, I cut it in half the long way, and then I took both pieces and overlaid them, and then folded it over this elastic, and then just cut it. <laughs> Wait, cut it. I mean, sew it. Sewed it. I just sewed it. Uh, it's not like look at this. Oh, it's not done very well at all. Though it was basically just like a really last minute thing that it wasn't gonna show. I'll fix it for Anime Expo, and that's basically the theme of this cosplay. Here is my Sakura wig. Um, I mean, there's my. Uh, here's the headband, and here are how the head ornaments turned out. This one has like some weird stuff going on with it. Don't look at that side. Just look at the side. Look, it's beautiful. But yeah, so... I'm happy with how that turned out. This is a really good look for my hand. I'm sorry everything's so, uh... Folded. I... This is post-con, so I haven't, uh... Ironed it again. But yeah, so here's how my like little loincloth piece turned out. Brett really helped me with, um... She helped thread this for me. And she also constructed all the little bows because she made a bunch for her Fire Emblem Fates cosplays. She was like, I know how to make them. And I was running really short on time. So thank you, Brett. Look how cute it is. Yay! I don't think I ever took a video of my cape once I had these on it. But here's how these little pieces turned out. I like, I was happy with them. And they're attached uh, really crazy on the inside and I need to fix that because it actually kept poking into me when I was wearing this and it made it very uncomfortable to wear. But yeah, and I think that's really the last piece of my cosplay to go into detail about. <laughs>